Hey everyone, I just want to show you how to bring in your line weights, your line patterns, and your line styles. A lot of your companies might already have these set up, but if not, this is the way to do it. And some of your students might also want to know. Uh, basically what you would do is go into your Revit uh, and then click on Manage. If you go into your Manage tab, and underneath the Settings panel you can go to Additional Settings and go to your line weights. Uh, you can basically just set up what your diff what your line weights would be for the different scales. Um, I would actually have a look over here at what my uh, line weights are. You can actually change these to whatever you prefer. So just say for instance 0 0.1 mil. You can do that. I prefer not to change it though. Um, uh, just go back, change it back to 0, 0 0.13 and apply it and say OK. Um, you need to do that in order to set up your different line types as well. Um, if you go into uh, the same panel again, additional settings, and then go to your line patterns, you have all these different line patterns. This is from my import from previous video. Uh, just have a look over there. You can also create new and edits you can just change over here what your dashes and your spaces are. Um, just go to a, a later one. You'll probably find, you know, use a double dash, you edit that. You can see there's multiple dashes and multiple spaces in here. Um, these are all essential to set up your uh, line styles at a later stage, which I'll show you now actually. Um, say OK. And just go to uh, additional settings and have a look here uh, line styles it does appear first but I would uh, you need to actually know what you're doing with the line weights and the line patterns before you even start having a look at the styles uh, there's a whole load of styles and things over here but I won't be using most of those um, yeah as you can see there's just a few ones that I prefer to use which are these ones over here uh, wide lines, white magic White magic I just like to use to hide lines if there's any problems at a later stage. Um, thick lines, and you get your medium lines up here. And of course you got your dash lines and, and those kind of lines that you'd need to use for your your bathrooms and stairs and that sort of thing. But yeah, uh, let me just show you for instance how to create a new line style. Uh, just go to new and just type in a new name, whatever. So wide line my line seven say okay yeah okay and then we'll go to the reason I say wide line seven is because I'm going to choose a line weight seven go to seven and choose and we like to keep the maybe maybe we'll just keep it black for now so I didn't actually name a color in there and then just let's go and maybe make it a dash okay and to say okay and and now if I go back into Revit architecture no wait Revit annotates and we have a look under detail lines we can go into this and we'll find the wide line 7 the one I just made now is there it's available for me to use all I have to do now is just draw and you can see it is now exactly what I said it should be. And that that's tutorial for today, guys. But if you are struggling a bit, uh, th yeah, just stop and pause and see what you need to do. Um, but yeah, that's it. Simple as that.